Tourism is more than a cash freeze for nature loving, travel, and recreation. Ecotourism is consecrated for preserving and sustaining the diversity of the world's natural and cultural environment. It accommodates and entertains visitors in a way that is minimally disruptive or destructive to the environment and sustain and supports to the native culture in the location it is operating in. The responsibility of both travelers and service providers is the winning meaning for ecotourism. Ecotourism focuses on local cultures, wilderness, adventures, volunteering, personal growth, and learning new ways to live on our vulnerable planet. It is typically defined as travel to destinations where the flora, fauna, and cultural heritage are the primary attractions. Responsible ecotourism includes programs that minimize the adverse effects of traditional tourism on the natural environment and enhance the cultural integrity of local people. Therefore, in addition to evaluating environmental and cultural factors, initiatives by hospitality providers to promote recycling, energy efficiency, water use, and the creation of economic opportunities for local communities are an integral part of ecotourism. Pulau Kukup is one of the largest uninhabited mangrove in the world. It is also the only one situated in Juhu waters. Today, Pulau Kuku has received international recognition, being granted the status of a wetland of international importance by the Geneva Besramsa Convention Bureau. Folklore tells the tale of Pulau Kuku, 
This is a story about five celestial princesses. One day, one of them fell in love with the sailor and they eloped. A curse was set upon the island of Kukum and it was submerged by sea. The island later resurfaced but it was covered in mangrove. Many have tried to settle on this island but without success. Some say this is because the island is inhabited by spirits. Pulau Kukum is today the home of countless species of wildlife. Among these are playful monkeys, quiet mosquitoes, and noisy wild boars. Pulau Kukum is important for flood control, physical protection, and shoreline stabilization as it shelters the mainland town from severe storm events. The coastal straits between Pulau Kukum and the mainland are the site for a thriving marine cage culture industry. The mud flats are rich with shellfish, a source of food and income to the locals. Kerangs are built by fishermen primarily for fishing purpose. Although larger structures can also function as dwellings for them and their families, they are built without the need for nails, using rotten to bind tree trunks and wooden planks together, and cure into the seabed using wooden piles of about 20 meters in length and driven about 6 meters into the sea. They are usually sited in shallow water, although some can be found in deeper waters. Some kalons are less isolated and are connected to land via a wooden gangway. <laughs> Kebelajaran. <laughs> Kalau yang sudah Ikan tu tembak. Dia buat ini kan. Dia kata tembak. Kenapa? Tengah aim atau tengah aim? Tengah tengok. Dapat? Pandai ada orang. Pandai mesti eh. Pandai lagi tengok pun kau. Tengok tengok. Dia aim tu. Jauh tu. Selamat malam. Okay, okay. <laughs> Thank 